Do you remember when people used to do tag videos? I feel like that's a thing of the past but I'm bringing it back because I always wanted to do this one and then I put it off and I put it off and I put it off because that's just what I'm like as a person and I'm only just getting around to it now. So in space year 2019 I'm finally doing the wardrobe tag. I feel like every every alternative fashion person on YouTube and most like regular fashion people on YouTube have already done this and they did it maybe six years ago but whatever that's not the point. Better late than never right? As usual I've got all my answers like scripted, well not scripted but I wrote down the questions and then I wrote down roughly what I wanted to say and as usual I don't have my glasses on so Would it even be a video of mine if I didn't have to take a break to go and get my glasses? Okay. Question one is what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? I wasn't sure if this question meant oldest, like just the age of the actual garment or like oldest as in the thing I've had longest. Because if it's the thing I've had longest, it's probably this waistcoat that I'm wearing right now. Because this used to belong to my brother but he grew out of it and he's now over six feet tall and I stayed down here so I own this now so this might be the thing I've personally owned the longest but the oldest like item I own is that red tail coat this one is vintage or potentially actually antique but I got to, I bought it for not very much money off eBay because it's pretty wrecked. Um, you know, the sleeves have been cut shorter. The collar's pretty dirty. It's all sort of... It's in really bad condition, to be fair. But it's really heavy and it's really warm actually <laughs> and I really like it and you don't often get to buy antique clothes off of eBay for it wasn't a lot and I've worn this on photo shoots and to other occasions I don't really mind that it's all a mess it's got pockets in the tails how cool is that? what's in there? old train tickets in my tailcoat pockets <laughs> but yes, I'm pretty sure this is my oldest item. Question two is what is the newest item in your wardrobe? I'm just going to go with the item I bought most recently, which is another coat because 90% of my wardrobe is coats and jackets. I'm going to give you the heads up on that just now. But this coat I bought last week. I bought it from a charity shop. You know, if you haven't watched my previous video about buying stuff cheaply, then you should do that next. Look at the sleeves on this. I just, I couldn't resist that. They're so cool. But this is way too warm to keep on right now. It's so hot in here. Question three is what is the most expensive item? And this one genuinely caught me off guard or like kind of stumped me because I'm really not sure. I don't buy a lot of my clothes new. So what, I'm, what I mean by that is a lot of my clothes were not that expensive. And I don't really know, like of the things that cost quite a bit of money, I don't really know which one was the most expensive. But I think all in, it was probably my holographic jacket. This here. Is my holographic jacket. I didn't buy the base jacket new but it still costs more than I would normally spend on a jacket but I really wanted it because it was shiny. The back panel is an old Alice in the Pirates handbag so I'm gonna count that as being money spent towards the jacket as well. And then all of these studs you know, all of these diamonds, all of the rainbow chrome ones as well. 
all of those were bought se separately. You know, I bought them all in batches of like 20 or 100 at a time and then I put them in there myself. So this was entirely DIY. I've also got my Poopy Thill pin on there. So I guess in total, this jacket is probably the most expensive piece because it has so many parts to it, all of which were bought separately and it took so much time to put it together. I don't regret a second of it though. I love this jacket. I actually bought some more um, rainbow chrome studs because I want to make all the shoulders the rainbow studs. That's my plan, anyway. Okay, where were we? Question four. 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 Question four is what was the biggest bargain? And again, going back to my previous video about buying an entire outfit for less than a hundred pounds, I've got quite a lot of bargains in my life, but I'm going to say this cape because it is vintage, it is genuinely vintage and it was maybe a little more expensive than most of my clothes when I bought it but I have worn it and worn it and worn it I have worn it to so many events I've worn it on so many photo shoots I've worn it just out and about in winter as an extra layer because you can wear it over any jacket and it's just an extra layer I sewed pockets on the inside <laughs> so I sewed pockets into the lining so I can carry stuff around in it. I, I've worn this cape so much over the years that it's like paid for itself now, essentially. So I think that was definitely the biggest bargain I've ever got because it's great and I love it. Question five is what was the biggest waste of money? This is another one that I struggled with. I actually struggled with a lot of these questions because a lot of them are to do with the price of your clothes and, you know, I'm I'm a second, second hand kind of guy. But this here. Now, as usual, I bought it second hand. I bought it from Closet Child. But it was still quite expensive. But I loved it, I just, I love it so much and I did actually wear it on a photo shoot and I have worn it in a various outfit pictures but <laughs> very soon after buying this I found the exact same blouse in white so now every time I go to pick one of these you know, if this is the style that I want to wear I always choose this one. Always. I always choose the white and red one because I don't know, I just like it more, I guess. So for that reason, this one was kind of... I don't want to say it was a waste of money though because I still love it. It's kind of taken a back seat to this one. Which is a shame. But I also like wearing both in similar outfits and then doing a twin look. Because if you follow my Instagram, you know how I like to do twin outfits. But I guess the truth is, if I had already owned the white version before, me before meeting, before finding the black one, I probably wouldn't have bought the second one. But... Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to judge these things. Question six is, what is the most affordable item that you use a lot? It's that one white dress. This one. This one white dress that I bought through Taobao a million years ago and have worn on so many photo shoots. So many photo shoots. I might just include some clips and some pictures because the truth with like modeling, especially if you ever model in like women's clothes or in an alternative scene. Every single photographer ever wants you to be in a white dress in an abandoned building or in a white dress in a forest. 
they all want to do that. All of them. Literally all of them. So, having a good white dress that you can fall back on for that is a must. And this one was... Not only was it cheap, it has been worn... What I thought to death, I thought I'd worn it to death so many times, but I always just wash it, I throw it in the washing machine, and it bounces back, completely brand new, ready for another photo shoot. You know, I've climbed into so many abandoned buildings in this dress. I have literally swam in a loch in this dress. It's... it's... This thing has served me so well over the years. Question seven. I'm gonna skip this one because it's what are your three favorite items right now? I don't. I don't have that. I just don't. I. I. I like all my clothes. Question eight is what is your favorite piece that you've gotten as a gift? And it is my angelic pretty wonder queen set because I have I have the dress and the bonnet. I don't have it to hand, so I will insert clips because I wore this for my Queen of Hearts video. I've also worn it like to conventions. I wore it to the Tea Party Club, so I wore it in my London vlog as well. You might have seen this around, but the truth is that dress was a gift from my boyfriend who bought it for me for our, like, it was our anniversary, like dating anniversary, but also Valentine's Day because those are roughly the same time. But yeah, he bought that for me in Harajuku from the Angelic Pretty store. It was very sweet. It was very sweet. And it's my favorite. I love it so much. <laughs> I love that dress. I really do. I'm always looking for excuses to wear it as well. Like that whole Queen of Hearts thing, I basically just sort of built all of that around that dress and then it spiralled into you know all the card suits which was a fun project but question nine is what is your most comfortable item and it's my velvet leggings my velvet leggings because i live in them i live in them i have them in every color like every color i mean i've got i've got red ones that i'm wearing now i've got black ones and i've got white ones and I don't really need any other colours. So. Well, no. Actually, I'm kind of looking for green ones. If I can get green velvet leggings, then my velvet leggings collection will be complete. But they're my most comfortable item, and they're what I wear just all the time, really. <laughs> Question 10 is what is your most outrageous or colourful item? It is definitely that triple fortune coat. I just completely fell in love with this coat sort of in a fit of madness. The lining parts aren't actually black, they're navy blue and the pattern is, it has all the colours in it, it's very colourful. It's mostly ivory so I wear it with ivory stuff. I bought it at the Eternal Twilight event and then I wore it the very next day at the Shakespearean night tea party. So there is a vlog of that, but that is definitely my most sort of colourful item. Aside from the holographic jacket, does that count? Because it's rainbows? Question 11 is what is the most uncomfortable item in your wardrobe? This one, instantly two things sprung to mind and they're both, they're both pairs of shoes. They're both pairs of boots to be exact. One is the, I've forgotten the name of the brand, but they're like steel-toed, stripy boots, and they are so cool. Like, they're very cool. I love them, but oh my god, they hurt. They hurt so much. Every couple of years, I kind of forget how painful they are, and then I wear them again, and I regret it completely, and I put them under the bed so that I don't wear them again by accident, or I think about selling them, and then I don't because I kind of love them anyway. And the other pair are these pointed toed vintage goth boots. They are genuinely vintage and they have like these little crosses on the toes. I love them so much. I hate the heel on them, to be fair. Like if I could change the heel on these boots, I absolutely would. But 
they absolutely, they kill. They hurt so much, but they're beautiful. <laughs> and literally, if I could get the heel changed to a different style, I would wear them all the time, even though they hurt, because I would just, I would just suffer for the sake of beauty, because I love them so much. Question 12 is, where do you shop the most at? I shop wherever second-hand clothes are to be bought. I literally, really, genuinely only shop second-hand because I don't have money, so that's my life. I made a whole video on it just very recently and I think I've referenced that video a couple of times now. So if you're genuinely interested in where I shop and how I get all of these clothes for not very much money, go to that video and here? Here? Where am I going to link it? We'll find out. Okay. Number 13 I might actually skip as well because it's pick your favourite black item and your favourite white item. And most of my wardrobe is black or white. You know, all of my wardrobe is like black outerwear, white shirts and then red or green middle pieces. Ooh, I couldn't choose. Like I couldn't choose because that's my whole wardrobe. We're skipping that one. Question 14 is something you love that everyone else hates. This one was also tricky because I don't know really... And not that I don't know what other people think of my clothes, I just, I don't really care. <laughs> Although I do remember very fondly when I bought this one shirt, I got it at a kilo sale and I was specifically looking for really ugly clothes because I love an ugly shirt. But the friends I was there with were both kind of like, oh, that is ugly, but you should buy it. And I've worn it out clubbing mostly. I mostly wear it out clubbing. I'll show you it. This has also appeared in a few of my other videos, but they're quite old videos. I might still insert a clip if I can, but yeah, it's got these holographic sequins on it and then this like high ruffled collar and the ruffles go all the way down the front and then these really baggy, baggy sheer sleeves. It's, it's horrific. It's bizarre. I love it so much. Where are we? Question 15. The last question is what item are you most excited to wear soon? This one was an easy one because I only just bought this dress and it's honestly been ages since I like wore something like this so I'm, I'm excited about it. This one here. This was a real impulse purchase. I just, I saw it and I instantly had this whole outfit in my mind. You know, I want to wear it with wings and potentially like a sword to go with the weapons round the bottom. If I can, I'm gonna make a whole photo shoot out of it. It's like basically just a big hoodie dress. It's so, it's so strange and it's so cute and fun and you know me, every so often I like to get dressed up as a girl. I bought this one through Lace Market. If so, if you're looking for this kind of clothing second hand, Lace Market is where to be for that. So that is all 15 questions. I think I covered everything I need to cover. If you have any questions for me, leave them in a comment and I will get back to you. Let's bring back doing tag videos. I want to see everybody's wardrobe because I'm nosy and I want to see in your wardrobes. So if you're watching this, you know, any of my goth followers or alternative fashion followers or Lolita fashion followers, do this tag because I'm nosy and I want to see your clothes. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every weekend. Well, most weekends. Bye.